Hi everybody and welcome back to another Legends of Runeterra video. We just barely got the newest set of card reveals. No champion today. That will most likely be coming tomorrow. And by the looks of it here, I see Sand Soldiers. This is going to be a Zir. This should not be a surprise to anybody. Supposedly only seven cards today. Um, we'll go through them all and see how efficient, how effective, what what we think a Zir is going to be like. And... and um, yeah, if there's going to be any sort of new archetype. All right, so right here we got, let's go down here, a little bigger. Sand Soldier, first off here, token card, not main deckable. Looks like there's no emblem here at the bottom of the card, so just keep that in mind. This is a 1-1-1 one, 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 uh, Nexus Strike deal, 1 to the enemy Nexus. So very similar to how the Powder Monkey works. Um, it just doesn't get, it, its last breath ability does not hurt it. Right, you have to actually strike the Nexus to get extra damage. So, um, I mean, it does kind of force the enemy to block them. Otherwise, you're going to be dealing extra damage procs to them. And depending how easy it is to get these damage soldiers out, it's there's a possibility of kind of swarming the board. And um, it's ephemeral, so already we see more Shadow Isle synergy. We saw the, um, what's the other card that Sivir had here? The other ephemeral card, thought I passed it already. The sandstone charger, another ephemeral card from the uh, from from Sharima. So, yeah, Sharima shadow shadow isle synergy. All right, the Dune Keeper. When I'm summoned, summon a sand soldier. A two one a one drop. All right, same thing, kind of a token card here. So the total stats are three two. So not too bad for a one drop. Um. It summons it automatically as well, which is pretty good. So we can fill up our board. Turn one play, this is pretty nice. Three damage on turn one, that's pretty nice. That's that's pretty similar to something that would happen to um, our uh, Legion Saboteur, right? Which is pretty aggressive. All right, Emperor's Deus. Landmark. When allies attack, summon an attacking sand soldier. All right. All right, so this is kind of what we wanted. Um sand swept tomb to actually look like here so when allies attack summon an attacking sandstone charger now this this i love this idea i think this is probably a little bit too slow at five mana you know it's a very it's it's not quite as slow as other five drop landmarks just because you could play it on your attacking turn and automatically get sandstone charger this is coming out i think just a little bit too late in the game though for this to make a lot of sense this on the other hand this could be a lot better um, is coming out on turn two, and you're getting these sand soldiers every time. The synergy with with Shadow Isles and potentially a, maybe a bait card in in the Soul Shepherd, but just keep that in mind. And then whenever they hit the enemy Nexus, they're going to be damaging it and extra damage. So, um, yeah, the enemy's kind of forced to block them. And um, now now talking about this, this just isn't going to be a free sand soldier every attack so you do need to remember that you need at least one attacking unit in order to summon this and get x and get these sand soldiers out so so you do need to kind of protect your units and make sure that that you have some um i talked about this with sand swept tomb but there's also potential rally demacia synergy with this emperor's i mean it's not dealing a whole bunch of damage but at the same time like more procs is going to be good. I imagine that Azir's level up condition will have something to do with the sand soldiers. Like once you've summoned five sand soldiers or ten sand soldiers or something, I could see that being his level up. Um, and yeah, this will this could potentially be very important to his archetype. All right, a four drop here. Sand crafter attack summon an attacking sand soldier. So very similar to the Emperor's Deus here. We if we got both of them out, we're summoning two to attack with us. Um, they get I think less and less important the more the game goes on until you see Desert's Wrath here. Well, I don't know. We'll see here. Um, but but one damage becomes less and less significant, especially once the enemy is going to be able to chump block them. And there's a lot of removal spells right now in the game. Um, the ephemeral, I think, does help with that just a little bit. Things like, um, um, what was I thinking of? The NASA spell here. Right of Calling doesn't, not Right of Calling, where is it? No, it does. Never mind. Spirit Fire definitely hurts as well. 
Um, yeah, so there are still a lot of cards that actually hurt these these sand soldiers and will prevent them from hitting the Nexus. So keep that in mind. I don't know how strong this is going to be. If we can buff up our health, maybe it will be a little bit better. All right, Desert's Wrath here. Grant allied soldiers. Grant. So this is permanent. Everywhere. Plus one, plus zero, then summon two sand soldiers. All right, so this is making the Sand Soldier archetype just a little bit more aggressive. Now we do have to sacrifice quite a bit of tempo. If we've already got these down, though, the thing is, like, you know, we're getting units on our attack phase every time, which is good. And we can use Desert's Wrath a little bit um, more flexible because it can be used on the defensive turn as well. It's not the best, but we can use it that way. All right, Inspiring Marshal, 5 drop. A 4-6 card, so quite a bit of health here. When you summon another ally, give it plus 2, plus 0 this round. So another engine for these for these um, sand soldiers. So we're granting them even more attack. Um, I think really the health is what's going to be an issue here, though. Yeah. Just still, this is the same problem that Reputation is going to have, I believe. Now, I could be wrong about how the meta is going to shape up here, but... From what it looks like, there are just too many control cards for for these units to deal a lot of damage. So, um, yeah, everything that's been released in Sharima, Shadow Isles, uh, they like Sharima, Shadow Isles, um, Freljord, they just have so much control. Like, how do the sand, how do sand, sand, sand soldiers deal with ice shard? They don't. Um, that the health is just too weak. They're not going to be able to hit the Nexus. Even if they were Powder Monkeys, at least their last breath ability would be hitting the Nexus. But the Sand Soldiers, yeah, I don't know about that. All right, Sandstone Chimera. Reduce my cost by one for each time an ally attack this game. A 6-6. Six, six. So this is very similar to... Um, Plaza Guardian, the one from Shadow Isles that nobody used, Arbiter of the Peak. Just it, it, it's got the same stat line now. It does cost a little bit more. Those are all ten cost units, um, and they're they're reduced. This one is a twelve cost unit who is reduced, and it has no extra um keyword that all the other ones have. It doesn't have fearsome. Doesn't have quick attack. Doesn't have overwhelm. This is just a plain statted 6-6 six, six unit, which is not very good, to be honest. Like, this is a 12 drop. Now, I think for each time an ally attacked this game, so the one saving grace is that it's it doesn't have to be in your hand. But, like, at the same time, like, a 6-6 six, six unit, even if coming down, like, on turn 3 isn't super good... Well, I mean, on turn three, it's good, but it's not going to be coming down on turn three. Let's say turn five, a 6-6 six, six unit with no extra ability isn't that good. And are, are we going to have ways to buff this? I guess, like, I don't know. When you summon another ally, that's summon. I, so this becomes an 8-6? Like, I don't know. I don't see this card being very good compared to those other ones. No keyword, I think, definitely hurts its chances of actually fitting into a deck. All right, um, Inspiring Marshall's pretty good. This definitely has synergy with Shadow Isles and other ephemeral units. Uh, Dune Keeper will be a staple in these Sand Soldier decks, as will Emperor Deus. Sand Crafter most likely will, because again, it's another engine. We still need units to attack, though. Um, well, this guy actually has to attack. The 5 health allows it to attack multiple times, which is good. Desert's Wrath is interesting. It may be a little bit too slow. I would compare this to something like Poro Snacks. Poro Snacks isn't summoning a Poro, but it's a burst speed spell that allows you... It's like kind of allowed a combat trick, right? Where you can play it to react to something that your opponent does. This one you have to use proactively if you want to get any value out of it at all. And then the two Sand Soldiers can... I mean, you can use it on your defensive turn. I... I wish it was a, a um, I guess it couldn't be burst because you're summoning units though. I mean, it could be burst like, like, uh, like, um, Mistwraith, but yeah, we'll have to see what the full package is tomorrow. Some of these cards are pretty disappointing.
mostly just the sands <laughs> the 12 drop here um everything else i think will fit into the archetype and maybe desert's rat will be forced to fit into it but yeah we'll have to see what azir actually does how he levels up and then also what sort of support we're going to get for these sand soldiers but as it is as it stands right now with these cards here i don't think these sand soldiers are going to make it into the meta with all of the control and and options that other regions have at the moment even shirima itself has so many anti-aggro um, cards in it that I just don't think Sand Soldiers is going to be very good um, right now. So, I mean, they're saving probably their best reveals for tomorrow just because that's what they did last time with our Reeling and Soul and the Celestials. So I could see them having something crazy with Azir, but, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see. All right, that's it. Kind of a tame video today. Not too much. Seven new cards. Um, does it say when we'll get it tomorrow, March 2nd at 9, 10 a.m.? So that will be the last batch of card reveals until the expansion hits on Wednesday. Yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And we will see you tomorrow. Thanks.